CataractCoach.com, a large DMEC corneal graft for pseudophagic bullous keratopathy, limbus to limbus pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. Our guest right here is Dr. Jack Parker, who does an incredible volume of these, more than a thousand a year. So you can see this patient has a complex history. There's a tube shunt. There's a Yamane IOL, post-vitrectomy, and even an artificial iris. That's not a regular iris. That's a prosthetic device here. So Dr. Parker does a lot of these in his office space surgery center and does these with just topical anesthesia and oral Valium. So patients don't even have an IV in. So here making a, an incision here with the keratome entering the anterior chamber. And obviously the first step in DMEC, here's an AC maintainer. The first step in DMEC is you've got to take off that existing host um, endothelium. And so here, Scoring decimates 360. Look, a very large graft is being planned here. Now, the larger the graft, the more challenging it is. So here, carefully peeling this off. There it is, nice and easy. It looks like the AC maintainer looks like it's uh, air. Air going in that AC maintainer. And so it's nice and easy getting this graft all the way around. Beautifully done. And once that's freed up, removing that, and with a, doing a, so many of these, 20 per day often, this surgeon has a tremendous expertise. So, hey, did I tell you about our podcast? We've got the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. You will learn so much. It will make you a more successful surgeon. I am absolutely serious about that. Everywhere you find podcast services. Now, going back to this case here, carefully removing all of the existing decimase membrane from the patient. And then now, preparing a large diameter graft. Now, the big grafts are a lot harder to do. So here we go. Now, refilling the eye here with looks like BSS. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, no, still taking out the glove. Just making sure, huh? Scoring it all around just to make sure here. Yeah, that is definitely an artificial IRS implant. That is a really complicated case here. Very interesting. So at this point, here we go. Now putting in some BSS in the anterior chamber, taking out that bubble. And getting the graft put in the eye. Now, you can get these grafts here in the U.S. very easy to get. Pre-loaded, pre-made grafts that are inked and also marked. So you know the, the directionality. So here comes the graft. Boom, going right inside the eye. And then a surgeon who has a ton of experience with this will have a very easy time expanding this graft. Now, this is the challenging part. It looks very easy, but this really takes some artistry. So to get this graft opened up, very careful tapping techniques here. And there it goes, beautifully unrolled. Wow, that looks so easy. So most of the graphs open up. One spot there at about the 10 o'clock position that's probably still a little bit tucked over. But the double cannula technique here to tap it in place, this is beautiful. This is truly artwork. Now I've done some DMEX surgery. I've taught some residents some DMEX surgery, but nothing compared to this level. This is truly outstanding surgery. Now. Let's see, a little pairs and pieces, maybe to get that one corner. This is tough because with a large diameter graft, it's kind of hard to sneak under it. And so trying here, uh, I don't know if you quite get it. So maybe trying a different, uh, maybe even more posterior. But the graft's in good position. Now for the air, Dr. Parker just puts in regular air, filtered room air, not using any special gases here. And then the patients do not have to uh, maintain positioning for any period of time. They can just get up off the operating room table and resume, essentially, uh, normalish activities during the recovery period. So here a little bit more posterior now, making another paresthesis to get that air bubble in. you got to get it, of course, under the graft. Here comes just room air, filtered, of course. There's the bubble, nicely done, nice and large, full fi uh, fill up there. That looks great. Wow, what a beautiful technique here. So you also know the name Jack Parker. Remember, we had a uh, review of his book. He wrote a book with Bob Osher called What I Say, How to Talk to Patients. Really a fantastic book. It's on my shelf. I have reviewed it. If you look on Cataract Coach for it, you'll find out um, that I really love that book. And you should get it too. If you're a young surgeon or a new surgeon, it really teaches you how to talk to patients. Now here at the end of the case, normal IOP, everything looks good. Call that a day. Wow. Remember, check out that podcast, top podcast in all of ophthalmology.